Oh, wee. Good morning, YouTube. Mm -mm -mm. Oof, it is life. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Musalos Fitness. Now, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about different ways of telling if you are losing weight. Now, I have been on stuck around 102.1, which is what I woke up at today, for the last. Not really actually 102.1, but it's been up and down the last couple of, the last week, let's just say. Um, and now a lot of people would probably be devastated at that. Like, oh man, I'm not losing no weight. The scale is telling me that I'm still at 102.1. So a lot of people would normally panic and be like, you know what? I need to reduce my calories a little bit more. I need to do more cardio or something like that. Just because they're not seeing the number go down. But the thing is... Um, around two weeks ago, I bought weights and I started doing a bit more weight training and you know like putting on muscle um, when you're in a calorie deficit you're not really gonna put on muscle when you're in a calorie deficit like it don't really work like that but trying to keep that muscle on your frame um, trying to look full but just lose body fat um, it's a slow process it's not nothing that just happens very very fast and I've also introduced carbs back into my diet within the last three four days and I said that once I the fact that I've introduced carbs into my diet now I will be holding a lot more water in my body because carbs water it that's just the way it works you know when I'm depleting myself of carbs when I was in the keto diet of course weight drops fast because you're gonna lose a ton of water weight um, but my thing is don't get like using the scale and only the scale when it comes to weight loss it's a dangerous game <laughs> it's a dangerous game because a lot of people that's probably why you're watching this video um, get not necessarily depressed but it's like it's a it's a it's a mental battle because you're always like man I put my weight this day, I, oh man, I'm down now and then I'm up again and, and there's so many different things that go into it. It's not just, you know, what you eat, you know what I mean? If you're eating a calorie deficit, that's cool and everything, but if you go on the scale with four hours of sleep compared to eight hours of sleep, big difference, or you drank two liters the day before instead of four liters, that alone can mess up with your the scale weight um, when you're going on the scale. So yeah, that's just one tool to use. Now another tool, and these are some of the other tools I'm going to be giving you guys right now. Um, tool number one is photos. Now take a photo of yourself once a week, every Sunday maybe. You know, every Sunday you can take a photo of yourself just to see where you're at. Or every Monday, it's up to you once a week or if you can do it every single morning, which is like what I just did earlier this morning. I take a front side and back photo every single day some days i forget but it's like a you know like a morning routine type of situation and that way you can see the changes in your body over time when you are looking at yourself every single day you know just through the mirror in the toilet or the mirrors in your room and stuff like that it's very hard to see if you're losing weight because ain't nobody criticizing yourself more than you you know what I mean? you're gonna be like man i'm not losing weight oh man i don't you know what i mean and all that stuff um, so another way to know if you're losing weight is through friends, family members and stuff like that. That's not something that a lot of people mention, but when people haven't seen you for a while <laughs> and they see you like, oh wait, you look like you've lost a little weight, you lost, you've lost a little weight, you know, that can just, that does add a little sign to the ego, you know, it makes you feel a bit good, you know, when someone's like, what happened, you're, you're looking a bit, you know, hey, you're looking good, you know, that ones. Um, so yeah, friends and family is a good tool. Um, to use of course some people don't have that but I'm just saying it's something nice if you haven't seen someone in a while and they see you and they're like oh you lost weight you're heading in the right direction okay another way to see if you're losing weight or to notice if you're losing weight is clothes clothes that you wear on a regular basis I'm not talking to something that you haven't worn in two years and now you can fit in it if you can fit in it then that means you are probably lost weight from two years ago but as of like when you started your diet or whatever and it's something that you wear every single day now we're in quarantine most people should be wearing the same outfits pretty much every single day um, where you going you're not going nowhere you're not going out so I don't see why you're wearing fancy clothes but the clothes that you normally wear every single day which is for me is this i normally wear like my oversized hoodies um and i can see there's a lot of airspace right now um compared to when i started this diet it was actually pretty pretty tight on me um it was still loose like oversized but it was it, it, there was there wasn't this much space so that alone i know that I'm, i am losing weight um so yeah clothes is an awesome way to tell if you're losing weight um i love it i think it's a very important way to know if you're losing weight um, again, some people have different ways of losing weight. Like for me, normally people notice it on my face. I notice it on my face 
normally first. Um, because I'm always on video, I'm online. I've had a few people tell me, Musa, what happened? You look like you've lost a gazillion million times of weight. And I get it. When it, my face, first. The, the last place, midsection. That's for, that's for most males. I've, I've seen scientific studies that most males, they hold a lot of weight in their lower backs and in the, the basically just in the midsection. Um, so yeah, that's my last place. Um, so we have clothes, we have photos, we have friends and family, and what else, what else? I, don't, I can't really think of anything. Of course, the scale, the scale is like there, but I, I, just to choose one of those, I wouldn't think it's the best idea. I think it's the best when you use all four of those. Um, of course, the friends and family one, you can't really do much about it if you don't have friends and family. If you don't, then that's life, you know what I mean? Maybe go make some friends. Um, but yeah, the other three, photos, that's that's a great one. Um, you could probably use that by itself if you, because photos don't lie, you know what I mean? If you're taking the photo in the same place, same lighting every single morning, there's no lies involved. You know, you can't lie, you can't Photoshop it or anything like that. It is what it is. Um, clothes, it's like almost like a, it's not really a guessing game. You kind of do know, like, if your clothes are getting loose, like, you know what I'm saying? You should be able to notice that. Um, so, yeah, for me, photos is, like, the best one. Clothes, second. Um, and I'll choose scale last, I ain't gonna lie, because a scale is a very funny, funny type of situation. Like I said, the amount of hours you sleep, how much water you drank, all that stuff, you know, when did you eat your meal before you went to sleep, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff is very important. Um, did you sleep longer? Do you know what I mean? That's more hours in a fasted state and then you wake up and you've got a new low weight and you're like, ah! Next day you sleep four hours, wake up and your weight's gone up a kilo. You're like, ah! So, yeah, the scale is probably the last one I would choose, personally. Um, that's why there's a lot of people that don't weigh themselves every single day because it is pretty hard to take when you're going on the scale every single day. But if you've been doing it for some time, you kind of understand how the scales work. If you're a beginner now, you're going to be like, fuck. Like, I feel like I'm losing weight, but the scale's telling me something else, it, it, mind games and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Just thought, you know, let's make a video telling people different ways of uh, being able to see if you're losing weight. Um, again, this is one of those. Um, these are a few tips. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I shall catch you guys in the next one. Love life, love life, love life. Peace.